Samaria. All right, now let us pray. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and all that you have given uh, to us. Thank you for uh, giving us this time to celebrate. Um, thank you for these gifts of awards and honors and scholarships that you have blessed us with your favor uh, and through our hard work and dedication. You've been so gracious and kind to us uh, to give us our family, our friends, um, our teachers, our advisors, anyone here uh, to support us. We thank you for all that. I pray that as, you, uh, as we receive these honors, we do this for your glory uh, and to achieve our goals in life, to uh, pursue great things and to help others. I pray all this in your name, amen. Our national anthem will be given to us by Ms. Portia Watkins. day for a celebration of student success. Good morning and welcome to Calhoun Community College. It is our great pleasure today to have you join us for our 45th annual Honors Day program. The recipients of today's awards and recognitions exemplify our goal for each Calhoun student, academic success. When students begin their studies here at Calhoun, each faculty member, each staff member, and administrator accepts the responsibility to assist and encourage them toward achieving their academic and career goals. I wish to thank each faculty member and friends here today for supporting these students throughout their academic journey. For without you and that support, they may not have been present here today. And I would like to ask our outstanding faculty and staff members 
to stand and be recognized recognized for the role that each of you plays in student success here at Calhoun Community College. You are a great faculty and staff. Please stand. Again, we're pleased that each of you could join us today as we honor our students and for all the accomplishments that they have had during their time here at Calhoun. And truly, there are many, they are many and great. So thank you to each one of you for being here on this 45th Honors Day program. As my custom is, I like to begin my portion of the program with a quote. Um, so here it goes. The famous UCL, UCLA coach, John Wooden, was known for his motivational speeches in the locker room. And here's the one that I chose for today. Things turn out best for people 
who make the best of the way things turn out. Wait for it, wait for it. I paraphrase that and I like to say it this way. Things turn out best for students who are willing to do their best for the way things turn out. And we're gonna begin this portion of our program with the recognition of our who's who among students in American junior colleges. I'm gonna ask that you hold your applause uh, until we get to the very end. We have quite a few names that we wanna call. So students, as your name is called, please come forward and receive your certificate. Kelsey Elizabeth Ashley. Jessica Baker. Nikki Bahari. Cynthia Brady. Kenny Brainerd. Myra Browning. Robert Bertugai. But you guys, sorry. Amanda Cole. Devin Cross. Devon Cross. Elsie Devar. Elise Devar, I'm sorry. James Dodd, Keisha Dotson, Douglas Dutcher, Jr., Victoria Eccles, Victoria Dodd, please, Carl, okay. Megan Edwards, Charlotte Ellison, Ellison, Hannah Emerson, Samantha Gardner, Marcia Garth, Charles Golson, Holly Guthrie, Jordan Hardy, Katie Hembry, Ethan Hoback, Holly Hogan, okay, AJ Johnson. Andrew Jordan, Anna Jordan, Anna Latrell, Gabriel Mario, Bobby Jones, Savannah McCull McCullough, Michael McJunkins, okay. Kayleen Moore, Kayleen Ann Moore, Kimberly Newsom. Benjamin Nichols, Gentry Osborne, Kelsey Osborne, Keeley, sorry, Keeley Osborne, Talisa Pasuo. 
Dolly Padra. Dolly Padra? Padilla. Jessica Patterson, Shane Perret, Perret, Brittany Richardson, Megan Shoemate, Jacob Smith, Marlon Sweeney. Megan Sexton, Hope Thompson, Uran Tran. Kyle Bellicott Ford, Jerron Williams, Jerron Williams, Wesley Wright, Anderson Young, I think that takes care of our who's who. Let's give them all a big hand. The next award is the Dr. Rhoda Hutchins Nursing Scholarship. I'm going to ask um, Jean Brett. Oh, Dr. Hutchins is here. Okay, Dr. Hutchins, would you come forward? The Dr. Rhoda Hutchins Award is based uh, on the fact as the chairperson of the Health and Physical Science Education Division for, 30, for 28 years at Calhoun. She provides this scholarship to a student who exemplifies excellence in nursing. And this year's recipient is Michelle Mazzo. Michelle, come forward, please. Mazzo. All right. Thank you very much. Our next category is scholarships for four-year colleges and universities. And uh, we will have the representative from Athens State University come forward today, uh, Ms. Penny Roberts. Good morning. My name is Penny Roberts, and I'm the enrollment advisor for Athens State University. On behalf of Dr. Robert Glenn, our president, and the entire um, student services staff, I'd like to present these awards. <clears throat> Savannah McCullough, Presidential Scholarship. <clears throat> Benjamin Jacob Nichols. Presidential Scholarship. Also, I'd just like to say that our um, scholarship deadline date is May 30th, and so we will be giving out more awards. Thank you. Our next University presenting today will be Auburn University, presented by Jesse Chile. Chile. Good morning. I'm Jesse Chile, representing Auburn University, and on behalf of our president, Dr. Jay Gouge, our board of trustees, faculty, students, and staff, and our Auburn alums, we would like to present the following scholarships: 
receiving our Auburn University Board of Trustees Scholarship, Jennifer Campuzano. Thank you. Our next university is the University of Alabama in Birmingham. And I'd like to call Ms. Uh, Jessica Bumpus to the podium. Good morning, I'm Jessica Bumpus from the University of Alabama at Birmingham. And I'm pleased today to be here to present two scholarships to outstanding students at Calhoun. So on behalf of our president, Dr. Ray Watts, and our UAB faculty and staff, I'd like to present the Transfer Excellence Scholarship first to Tiffany Merriman. And the second award for the Transfer Excellence Scholarship goes to Megan Shoemate. Our next university is the University of Huntsville, I mean, University of Alabama in Huntsville, UA Huntsville, and the presenter will be Mr. Adam Smith. Good morning. My name is Adam Smith, and I'm one of the transfer counselors at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. On behalf of Dr. Robert Altenkirk, faculty staff of UAH, I would like to present the following scholarship awards uh, to the following students. Amy Ackerman. Seth Allison. Robert Buckeray, Buckeray? But Buckeray. Buck Jasmine Cole. <laughs> Catherine Edwards. Francisco Estevez. Kara Gentlepour. Quanesha Griffin. Shannon Jeffries. <laughs> Jennifer Litzroth. <laughs> Megan McAllister. Beatrix Satiano. <laughs> Megan Sexton. <laughs> Sharshan Thapa. <laughs> Yin Tran.
way, way, Zhao, Zhao Zhan, close. Congratulations. So Jin is how you pronounce that last name. Oh. <laughs> okay, we are going to move now on to our next um, school, which will be the University of, let's see, we finished with Huntsville, no, yeah. University of Alabama, Tuscaloosa, all right, and it's Melinda Williams. Good morning, my name is Melinda Williams and I'm an admissions recruiter with the University of Alabama. It is my pleasure to be here this morning to present these scholarships to your deserving students. So on behalf of the university and our president, Dr. Judy Bonner, I would like to present scholarships to the following students. The Community College Honors Scholarship to Gabe Marrero. and the Presidential Scholarship to Wesley Russell. Congratulations. And our last university is uh, Troy State, and that individual is not here today, so we will be finished with this particular category. Right. Okay, I'm informed by the Vice President that uh, Robert is a member of our athletic program, and he's currently at a baseball game in the state tournament, so let's give him, wish him all well. All right, our next category is recognition of special achievements, and uh, this first award is, of course, the Athletic of the Year Award, and Dr. Keenum is not here, so we will, uh, okay. we will uh, not mention that, not have that award today. The next category is James B. Allen Penn Award, and um, this award, the late U.S. State Senator James B. Allen from Alabama was a strong advocate for order in the U.S. Senate and in the lives of his constituents. This James B. Allen pin is presented to a Calhoun student who has demonstrated order through citizenship, scholarship, and service. And we're pleased to present this award this year to Ms. Brittany Locke. We're going to call uh, Dr. Sheila Bird to the podium at this time for this next award, the Keith Wiley Sigma Kappa Delta Award. This award is selected by the local SKD sponsors and is based on academic merit and service. The national dues expenses for this award recipient are paid by the local chapter. This student is also given the opportunity to attend the National Sigma Kappa Delta Conference each spring. This year, we are pleased to present this award to Nakia Turner. This next award, the Lois Cottrell Jr. Foundation for Excellence in Long-Term Care Scholarship. I'm gonna call Dean Brett McGill to the podium. This award is given to a practical nursing student in the spring semester who has successfully passed one semester of, of nursing courses, maintained at least a 2.5 grade point average, and is deemed in need of financial assistance. This recipient is awarded $500 per semester must be an Alabamian resident, Alabama resident and must perform a portion of her clinical experiences in a long-term facility. 
This year's award goes to Natasha Howard and Brooklyn Rutherford. Brooklyn Rutherford. Thank you very much. Our next award is the most outstanding war harp. I'm going to call Ms. Janet Kentrell Martin to the podium. The Calhoun Warhawks, the official student ambassadors for the college, nominate one member of their organization each year for this award. This student has exemplified great leadership and scholarship over the previous year among, high, among his or her peers in this prestigious organization. This year's recipient is Seth Allison. The Mr. and Ms. Calhoun Community College Award is next. This honor is voted on by the college student body. And this year, our Decatur representatives are Seth Allison as King, Mr. Calhoun, and Hunter Creel as Ms. Calhoun for the Decatur campus. campus, the Mr. Calhoun for the Huntsville campus is Gerard Hardy, and Ms. Calhoun is Savannah McCullough. Category is our Skills USA uh, uh, award winners, and we're going to call Dean Bethany Shockley to the podium. First place, cosmetology, Jacob Rippey. First place, Internet Working, William Johnson. Second place, Internet Working, Justin Renshaw. Third place, CNC Turning. Jared Bailey. As you can see today, we're here and we've recognized just a few of our outstanding students. But it would not be possible for those students to do what they do without the support for others. And we absolutely believe at Calhoun Community College that outstanding faculty plus outstanding students yield outstanding, or plus outstanding staff yield outstanding students. 
And I have the honor of recognizing the achievement within the academic divisions for our most outstanding students. What's so nice about this and what's such an honor is these students are recognized based on their ability. They're nominated and selected by the faculty within the area. For business, CIS, and technologies, in accounting, Megan Sexton. Business Administration, Terry Vogel. <laughs> Cosmetology, Charlotte Ellison. <laughs> Aerospace Technology, Tyler Beck. Automation and Robotics, Robert Pearson. <laughs> Design Drafting Technology, Alistair Douglas. <laughs> Electrical Technology, David Huckabee. Industrial Maintenance, A.J. Johnson. <laughs> Process Technology, Casey Welburn. <laughs> Renewable Energy, Evangelina Foote. Shane Plott, would you please come forward? Shane is a 2010 Calhoun graduate with a degree in Computer Information Systems Networking. While a student at Calhoun, Shane placed first in the USA in internetworking in the state competition and fourth in the national competition. Shane remains involved with Skills USA competition by serving as chairman and contest judge. After graduating from Calhoun, Shane continued his education at Athens State University, where he earned his Bachelor of Science degree in management of technology with a minor in information systems management. He also holds various industry certifications including Network Plus, Security Plus, Cisco Certified Networking Associate in Routing and Switching, Voice and Security. He is a certified ethical hacker and a certified information system security professional, which is a very high level certification within the CIS industry. Shane currently works as a Senior Integration and Test Engineer at Northrop Grumman's Integration and Engineering Center of Excellence in Madison. He is also an adjunct instructor, thank you, for Calhoun Cisco Certification Program and serves on the Alabama Technical Education Advisory Committee. Shane, we are very, very, very proud of you and your accomplishments. Thank you. I'm going to ask Dean Brett McGill to assist with the outstanding students in the Health Science Division.
Associate Degree Nursing, Vivian Shad. Practical Nursing, Pharmaja Innocent. Pharma G, I'm sorry, my apologies. Dental Assisting, Brittany Brown. Emergency Medical Services, Emily Layton. And Dream Morrow. Surgical Technology, Lisa Wolford. Um, I do, I, this is uh, the, uh, the recognition of an outstanding alumni is an addition to our program this year. So we are recognizing one for each division. And then at commencement, we will recognize uh, most outstanding alumnus. So we think it's a great addition to our honors assembly to bring back our really outstanding alumni. I'd like to ask Dr. Ricarte Solis to please come forward. In 1991, Dr. Solis moved from Panama to the United States and began his education at Calhoun. He became certified in emergency medicine and graduated with honors in 1992 with a degree in chemistry. He continued his education at UA Huntsville, where he completed the paramedic program. For the next 12 years, Dr. Solis worked in emergency medical services in North Alabama as a paramedic, shift supervisor, and a paramedic instructor. He also taught as an adjunct. Thank you also for uh, UA Huntsville, UAB School of Medicine in Huntsville, Calhoun and Northwest Shoals Community College, where he started a, par a new paramedic program. In 2004, he moved to Athens, Ohio, where he attended Ohio University College of Osteopathic Medicine. In 2008, he graduated with honors with a Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine degree before going on to pursue postgraduate training at the Medical College of Georgia in Augusta, where he completed a residency and became a specialist in emergency medicine in 2011. He is certified by the American Board of Emergency Medicine and works as an emergency department physician. He travels extensively in his efforts to coordinate and teach emergency medicine and clinical and emergency ultrasound in Lima, Peru, Georgetown, Guyana, and his native country of Panama. Dr. Solis, we are so very, very, very proud of you and your academic and career accomplishments. or ask Dean Donna Estel to come forward as we present the awards from the Humanities and Social Science Division. English, Jessica Barker, excuse me, Baker. Art, Sharon Ford. Corral, Megan Edwards. <laughs> A 
Electronic Imaging, Hugo Ochampo Ortega. Graphic Animation, Jesse Lane. <laughs> Graphic Design, Samantha Jones. <laughs> Guitar Ensemble, Philip Byers. The Ada Moss Award goes to Maria Cunningham. The Band Award goes to David Ward. The Music Industry Communications Award goes to Philip Byers. <laughs> Child Development, Lisa Bragg. <laughs> the History Award goes to India Truman. The Most Outstanding Student in Religion. The award goes to Lacey Roberts. Sociology, Casey Crommel. Mrs. Martha Herford, would you please come forward? Mrs. Herford, does she have representatives in the audience? I believe a son, yes. Uh, our recipient of the honor is uh, with, actually with Dr. Herford today, who is quite ill, we understand. So we really appreciate your being here to accept the award. Many of you probably already knew Mrs. Herford. She is a very active member of our community. Mrs. Herford is being recognized today as the outstanding alumni for humanities and social sciences. However, she did graduate from Calhoun in 1974 with a degree in nursing. While her profession was nursing, Mrs. Herford's passion is civil rights. She led desegregation efforts in Huntsville, even spending time in jail for trying to buy a hamburger at a Huntsville lunch counter. She and Dr. Herford made a difficult and courageous decision when their son, became the first African-American to desegregate Alabama's public schools in 1963. Because of Mrs. Herford's courage and passion, Huntsville quietly became Alabama's first integrated city. Mrs. Herford, we are so very honored. Will you please send her, take her the message that we are so very honored that, number one, she's a Calhoun graduate, and we're also so very thankful for her and Dr. Herford's efforts, and yours as well, in our community and making it a much better place in which we live today. Thank you so much.
If Lucinda Beto, our head librarian, will come up. Our outstanding library student is Elaine Patton. If Dean Kimba Chambers will come forward to assist with the awards from Mathematics, Natural Science, and Pre-Engineering Division. Under Mathematics, we have a tie, Vivian Braswell. and Amelia Ashiro. For astronomy, Miranda Galloway. Astronomy and Physiology, Cynthia Storm Jessett. <laughs> Chemistry, Savannah Russell. Pre-engineering, Corey Delano. Marty Kellum, will you please come forward? While a student at Calhoun, Marty was selected as an All-Alabama Academic Team Member, New Century Scholar, the very prestigious USA Today Scholar, and was a top 10 student. And when he turns around, you can see evidence of all of that. Uh, thank you for wearing all your awards today, Marty. Since receiving his associate's degree in mathematics from Calhoun in 2006, Marty has continued to pursue his education. He's earned four additional associate's degrees from Calhoun, Gen Ed, English, Pre-Law, Pre-Engineering, and has two bachelor's degrees from the University of Alabama Huntsville, Mathematics and Astrophysics. Additionally, Marty, received a master's degree in mathematics from Texas A&M University. What a record. After completing work on his capstone course in physics at UAH, Marty, along with his advisor, Dr. Uh, Sheik, published a paper entitled Linear Modes in the Partially Heliosphere Plasma in the Journal of Plasma Physics. I'm not sure I could even read it. <laughs> Marty is at home here at Calhoun, working in the college's developmental math lab. He also serves as an adjunct instructor for UAH and ITT Tech. Marty, we are really, really, really proud of you. I was able to be with Marty when he received his awards at the All USA. It was the American Association of Community College Convention uh, in, where were we? San Jose? Long, Long Beach. Long Beach, California. I forgot where we were that day. But uh, it was a grand occasion and he was among the top 10 students in the nation. What an honor. We're proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. 
At this time, I'd like to call to the stage Savannah McCullough, Andrew Jordan, Gabe Marrero, and Tiffany Merriman. These four students were nominated as Callahan's representatives to the American Association of Community Colleges Phi Theta Kappa USA Today's Alabama All-American team. Please join me in congratulating these very outstanding students on being nominated for this prestigious award. Savannah, Savannah was also selected as a 2014 Coca-Cola Gold Scholar. This is a very tough competition with over 1,700 applications submitted and only 50 students selected nationally. Savannah, your Calhoun family is very, very proud of you and your accomplishments. And we look forward to following you as you go to the university. Andrew and Tiffany were selected as 2014 Coca-Cola Bronze Scholars. This is also a very competitive program, again with only 50 students selected nationally. You're both to be congratulated for your accomplishments, and it is a great honor to our college to have two out of the 50 recipients. Savannah and Andrew were also chosen to represent Calhoun as the all Alabama academic team members. Please join me in again congratulating all of these fine students. pleasure of presenting to you Calhoun's top 10 outstanding students for the 2013-14 academic year. The selection of these students is always a challenge. Just think, top 10 out of almost 12,000 students enrolled in Calhoun Community College. Eligible students are nominated for consideration as a top 10 student, then voted on by the faculty, administrators, and staff on the basis of grade point average, extracurricular activities, honors received, and community service. As I call your name, please join me on the stage, or please join us on the stage and remain after all your names are called for a group photo. Keisha Elizabeth Dotson is a child development special education major from Hartzell. Megan. <laughs> Megan. Jenny Edwards is a music therapy, physical therapy major from Athens. Leanna Everett is a business major from Grant. Andrew Jordan is a general education major from Bellarmo Springs. Gabriel Roberto Morrow is a general education major from Harvest. Savannah McCullough is a mathematics major from Athens, or excuse me, from Madison. Tiffany Merriman is a pre-med biology major from Huntsville. Benjamin Jacob Nichols is a general education major from Prospect, Tennessee. Anderson Young is a computer engineering major from Portland. Please join us as we recognize our top 10 students for 2013-14.
Each year, outstanding faculty and staff members are selected and recognized by the college and at the annual Alabama Community College Association Conference. These faculty and staff members will be recognized and receive a medallion at graduation on May 16th. At this time, I'd like to ask each of you to please stand. Uh, as I call your name, just stand uh, where you are. Dr. David Ansardi, outstanding faculty. Outstanding technical faculty, Mark Brannan. This year, Mark Brannan received the honor of being selected as the recipient of the Chancellor's Award for Outstanding Technical Faculty for the entire Alabama two-year college system. Mark, we congratulate you on this wonderful accomplishment. And I have to remind you, it was all because your little son wrote a nice letter for you that you received this great award. We know that you have represented Calhoun and Alabama well as the outstanding technical faculty member, and we are very, very proud of you. Outstanding support staff, Ronnie Sims. In the back, always working, always ensuring that everything goes well. Outstanding administrator, retired Jimmy Duke, who came back. Thank you, Jimmy, for being back today. Thank each of you for the wonderful work you've done for Calhoun Community College. Uh, in closing, I want to thank you again, each of you, for sharing this special honors day with us. We invite you to join us for lunch immediately following the program. Pavilion just to the left of the gym as you exit the front doors. Uh, we look forward to seeing all of you at graduation on May 16th. Have a wonderful weekend.